people heard about Baltimore first thing this morning, many of us immediately thought of, well, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, of course. That disaster back in 1980. Here's some Fox 13 film at the time. 35 people were killed when that freighter hit the old Skyway Bridge 44 years ago. Now, many, of course, have never stopped talking about it because it had some, such an impact on so many people, the lives lost for sure. And the harbor pilot who was in control of that ship, he, too, never got over it. Let's bring in our Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers now. Lloyd, why do you think that is still so etched in our minds, and what changes have come since then? Well, Ali, when you drive over the new Sunshine Skyway Bridge, you see those round bumpers around that bridge, supports, they call them dolphins. Uh, they came along with other safety measures after that nightmare in 1980 on an old, unprotected Skyway Bridge. Every time you drove over that old bridge, you were taking your life into your own hands. Bill DeYoung was 21, living in St. Pete in 1980 when the freighter Summit Venture hit the old Sunshine Skyway Bridge, killing 35 people. It could have been any one of us, you know. It could have been me going to Bradenton to visit family that morning. But DeYoung says for decades there were conflicting reports on how it happened. He researched and wrote a book that goes back to the bridge's beginning. When the first Skyway was built in 1954, what they had for protection against ship strikes was a series of two by fours nailed to pilings. So when Summit Venture hit the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, there was no protection at all. When the new Skyway was built, opened in 1987, the state spent $44 million on bumpers to protect the bridge from ships. And there was something else about the Skyway disaster. The talk concerning the harbor pilot, who was in control of the Summit Venture when it hit the old bridge. Over the last 40 years, you keep hearing, yeah, that drunk pilot, you know, he was stoned, he was drunk, he was this, you know, so he wanted to clear his name. Vandebo, along with Steve Yared, the attorney who represented harbor pilot John Laro, made a documentary film on the 40th anniversary. On how it happened, and about the court case that cleared Laro. It was ruled an act of God, a quick, fierce storm that led to the collision, not pilot error by John Laro, who passed away, still haunted, talking to friends. He would call them in the middle of the night and say, if I'd just made the turn a little sooner, if I'd done this, if I'd done that, all those years later. All these years later, when what happened in Baltimore takes us back to what happened here 44 years ago. And by the way, the Summit Venture, the freighter that hit the Skyway, finally sank off Vietnam in 2010. All 26 crew members were rescued. And we also remember a near miss back in 2007. This freighter carrying phosphate, the Antilles II, suddenly lost its power and steering near the Skyway. The pilot there chose to run aground rather than risk hitting the bridge. Fortunately, no one was hurt. And think of this, our local harbor pilots guide more than 5,000 ships a year in and out of Tampa Bay. It's a busy waterway. And we are reminded that as safe as they try to make it, things, things can go wrong, and sometimes they do. As sadly, what we see that's happened in Baltimore. Allie? Hmm. All right, Lloyd, thank you.